And so, you know, we start, we got into our little thing, our little tisk or whatever. But I made sure I doubled back and, and fixed the situation. I didn't care what he did as a child because he's a child. His brain is informed. His frontal cortex hasn't hardened yet. He's not making those decisions, right? Yeah. So I took it upon myself to say, I know you were wrong, but I'm going to walk you through this too. Like I've done everything else as a father walking you through. I'm going to walk you through this period because I'm your father. You didn't ask to be here, you know? So when me and my dad got into it, when I hit 20, 20 something, whatever, whatever, he did not do that. You know, he didn't walk back and do the father route and I affirm and all. You know, that stuff came years later, you know. So what I did was use what he did not do as a playbook, whether it's graduations, whether it's, you know, spring breaks, whatever. I go above and beyond because I know exactly what you said, how it feels to be the person that's sitting there. And you're like, if he would would have just, if he just would have thought or does he even think. I don't want my kids to ever wonder if I love them or I'm thinking absolutely, about them. Absolutely, absolutely. And, you know, my mom, she did something while we were growing up because when we started out, it's five of us. When we mm -hmm. started out, you know, my mom was a typical housewife. My dad was the breadwinner, mm -hmm. 